Hey guys, Fizz here. In this video, I'm going to be going over a kill on very cliff in fairly basic gear. Naturally, better gear will mean faster and easier kills, but this video should hopefully give you the confidence to try this boss in the event you haven't, especially if you have equal or better gear. I am using an unaugmented chaotic staff, full subjugation with only the chest augmented, and that chest piece has the Dragon Slayer perk and Relentless 5. These perks are helpful but by no means critical to the success of the kill. Now the cape, the quiver, the ring of death and the Zamorog book are just for extra stat boost. These can be filled with anything that you have available. As for amulet, I decided to go with the blood amulet of fury. Another alternative would have been to use the dragon rider amulet from the one of a kind quest as this would have boosted my dragon breath ability as well as reduced my prayer point drain. However, the Blood Amulet of Fury did better than I expected. Here are the results of the Necklace passive activating during the fight. You can see I used Devotion here. Unfortunately, it was a little too late. Ideally, you want to use Devotion just before destroying a Spire, as it'll grant you an additional 5 seconds of Devotion. The Debilitate ability is another option to reduce incoming damage if you find you're taking too much. After a little practice on this boss, you can start to incorporate prayer flicking between Deflect Magic and Soul Split. You will find that Varicliff pauses prior to his special attacks and also does fairly slow auto attacks in general. Getting comfortable with prayer flicking will enable you to get no food kills on this boss with relative ease. I chose not to do any prayer flicking in this kill as it isn't necessary when first learning how to do Varicliff. When using a shield, try to use the highest level shield available, as this will improve the healing amount from resonance. When I first started learning to do any form of bossing, I started learning the Dragonkin Laboratory, also known as ED2. And in my experience I found Varric Lift to be the most difficult boss of the dungeon, and over time to also be the most rewarding boss for improving my mechanics as a player early on. I put this down to the variety of special attacks he uses, and the various ways in which you can deal with them. Learning to kill Variglyph personally was a very important stepping stone in learning to do a variety of other bosses. This is by no means a perfect kill. I make many mistakes throughout this fight, including one almost fatal mistake that you'll see towards the end of the fight. Now this is to show that you don't have to be perfect to be able to take this boss down. It's quite forgiving. Now this is a pretty long fight so I'll speed it up further. Now aside from missing your window to deposit a ricochet charge, there isn't much KO potential in this fight, provided you keep your health up. 
more often than not, Vericliff, when you're first starting, is a bit of a war of attrition. So make sure you've got a lot of food, uh, ideally a beast of burden, fill it up with food. It doesn't have to be a pack yak, but the more food you have, the more room there is to make mistakes and still get the kill. Now that concludes the basic gear kill on Varric Lith. I hope this gives those watching who haven't killed Varric Lith yet the encouragement to at least try this boss. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.